guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be showing you how to do a hot oil treatment with very simple to the point steps so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's go ahead and get started the first ingredient I'm going to be using is the Jamaican black cashew oil I love this oil so much and I'm also going to be using my hair growth oil which is my own personal hair growth oil that I sell on my website which I'll have linked down in the description box I like this oil because it has about seven to eight ingredients already within it so I don't have to worry about having a bunch of oils to mix with it so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a half a cup of my growth oil and I'm gonna put it into the bowl then I'm going to take one tablespoon of the Jamaican black castor oil and I'm gonna put that in because Jamaican black castor oil is so thick you don't need a lot of it I know this looks like a very little amount of oil but trust me this oil goes a long way these both are great amazing oils for the hair so you don't need a lot of it and when you're done, you should have something that looks similar to this. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take my oils and I'm going to place them into a bowl of hot water. Now I do find that placing them into hot water is a lot better than putting them on the stove or putting them on direct heat because you don't want to cook the nutrients out of your oil. So this way just works a lot better for me. So this is my daughter and her hair is pretty tangled and just a hot mess honestly because we have let it go for the entire week so she is definitely in the need of a hot oil treatment just because her hair needs to be softened and it needs to be cared for and nourished so yeah that's how we're going ahead and doing it today a lot of people are confused when I call Naraya's hair type 4 but honestly guys you're going to see right now why it's type 4 it's very thick and she does not have loose curls her curls are super super tight so in my opinion this is for a hair and that's what I will continue to call it so I'm gonna go ahead and put this oil on her scalp and also on her entire hair shaft now you guys see that I'm using this little dropper because I did not have the actual cap to my bottle so you can use the actual cap it's a lot easier So as you guys see, I'm not using a lot of the oil on her hair. With these two oils, you do not have to use a lot of them. The Jamaican Black Castor Oil is super thick, so it's very um, easy to use on thicker hair. And my growth oil, Nourished by Shantae, is also a very um, nice balanced oil. It's not too light, it's not too heavy. But you do not need a lot of neither one of these because then you will have a situation to where you're using too much product for no reason. So that's why you see that I'm using very little of the oil on her hair. Even though she has super thick hair, her hair is drinking it up and it's taking well to both of these oils. I'm also able to detangle, as you guys see, a tad bit while doing my hot oil treatment. I find that when I do hot oil treatments, it's very important for me to focus on the ends of the hair. Now, I do this for my hair and I also do it for Naraya's hair, as you guys can see. When you focus on the ends of your hair, you're focusing on one of the oldest parts of your hair. And that part of your hair needs a lot of love, too. So you do want to focus on the ends of your hair. And it also helps with giving a nice balanced shine once your hair is actually completed and you wash out the oil treatment. So as you guys see, that was pretty simple. I'm just going to do the same exact thing to the entirety of her hair. All I'm doing is twisting her hair out of the way so that I can get started on the next section. of Naraya's hair you're gonna see that I use a lot more oil than I do on the front this is just because the back of Naraya's hair has a lot more hair and normally this is the thicker part of her hair also the driest so I like to focus a lot um, with the back of her hair I like to focus a lot on making sure that I get every hair strand so that's why I use a lot more oil on this section but it's still not a ton of oil I still have a lot of oil to use on the other sections what I want to stress to you guys, if you're using this exact combination, don't 
feel like that you have to use all of the oils all over the section and go overboard because that's not needed you'll still get the desired shine you'll still get the desired nourishment that you need these oils are very strong and you don't need a lot of it and this is Naraya disgusted with her tangles Nourished by Shantae oil is great for stimulating the scalp and also nourishing the hair strands which is why I'm placing the oil on the scalp and on the entire hair shaft. Jamaican black castor oil is amazing for retaining hair length which is why I also added it to this oil combination. If you have already purchased my hair growth oil from my website, then feel free to leave the Jamaican black castor oil out of the recipe, especially if you don't have it, because it's not an absolute need, only because Jamaican black castor oil is already in this mixture. I personally just added it to Naraya's hair treatment because her hair was very, very dry and she actually needed more of the Jamaican black castor oil in my opinion, so I just judged it from the way her hair looked. And as you guys see, it's already lots and lots of shine there. I'm gonna allow this treatment to sit in her hair overnight. So as you guys see, I still have a little bit of oil left. See, I told you, you do not need a lot of it. Okay, so when I'm done with applying the oil, I just spray a little bit of water on her hair just to capture in a lot of moisture while she sleeps. Now I'm using a grocery bag to put her hair up while she sleeps because the shower caps normally never fit on Naraya's hair because she has so much of it. So I just go ahead and put a grocery bag on and then I take my microfiber towel and I place it on her hair while she goes to sleep. This towel is designed to capture heat, so that's why I'm using this particular one. If you do not have time to let it sit in your hair overnight, then you can leave it in your hair for about two to three hours. Okay guys, so this is her hair the next day and all I did was wash out the hot oil treatment and then I put aloe vera juice in her hair as a leave-in and then I just sealed her hair with my growth oil. And as you guys see, her hair has a lot of shine and it also looks extremely moisturized. I just went ahead and braided her hair in the simple braids and yeah, that's pretty much all I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this little hot oil treatment. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you're going to be trying this on your hair and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!